Welcome back to day 19 on our hatching calendar. Today is Monday. There's not that many days left. Grab your hatching journal, find the page that has day 19 at the top of it, and let me give you a little sneak peek of those duck eggs on the counter this morning. There they are, and you can see the little picture. Look at that ducky today. All right, let's go inside and see what's happening. So there's our little ducky. He's getting his feathers and his beak, his eye. He's turning towards that air pocket. Let's check out where we've been though to see all the growth we've seen over the last little while. So our duck started as a little red dot and then we saw those blood vessels get bigger and bigger. We candled our ducks and we saw their little eyes. They started to get a little bit of a duck shape. And they got bigger and bigger. There's the heartbeat starting. There's our little ducky smiling at us. And they just kind of grew and grew and grew inside the egg. They started to get their little limbs, their legs and their wings. And they started to get their feathers on their bodies. And today, let's see what's happening inside that egg today. So there's our duck today. The little duckling is starting to grow his feathers. He's got his little claws and toes, his little webbed feet. He's starting to get in the right position in order to break open that shell. Remember we talked about how he's gotta get his head down to that air pocket to get ready to hatch. So we can see he's turning his body in that shell. So I think that's the sentence I'm going to write in my hatching journal today, is the duck is turning towards the air pocket. What are you going to write in your journal today? When you're finished, take a picture of it and share it with us. If you're in JK, you can always write turning or air pocket. If you're in SK, you could also talk about how it has feathers and toes. What's the sentence you're going to write today? Take a photo and share it with us on Seesaw. The other thing we have to do today, I have a question for you. What should we name them? We need to come up with the names for our ducks. We usually name our duck eggs, so we never actually know which ducks will hatch or not. So it's kind of a surprise which names we end up with. So let me give you a little tour of them. We've seen them through the candling, but there's egg number one. There's egg number two. That one's egg number three. Egg number four hiding in the back there. Egg number five right in front of us. And the last one, egg number six. So there's all of our eggs and we need to come up with a name for each of them. So like I said, we always name the eggs. So we need to come up with six names for our eggs and then it's a mystery of which one's gonna hatch and which names we'll end up with. So if you are in our kindergarten class, we would like you to do the seesaw activity we set up for you where you can pick up to six names to add to the list and then we will vote on them. And if you are watching this and not in our kindergarten class, we would still love to hear from you. So you can uh, comment, post, send us a message, whatever way you can reach us, however you've heard of these videos, let us know and we will add your names to our votes as well for when we vote on them as a class. We cannot wait to find out. You have until the end of the day on Tuesday to come up with your duck names. So fill in those seesaw activities to let us know. And we will see you guys tomorrow. 